This is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an Alexa skill that calls a remote API. And I'm going to do that using a Dabble Lab Alexa skill template. So to get the code, we'll start there, head over to DabbleLab.com, and then from there, go to the template or templates menu. And there's, um, if you haven't used the skill templates that we've created, uh, there's 15 of them, and they're all really designed for teaching uh, certain features of Alexa, but you can also use them as a starting point for custom skills. They're free to use. So we're going to be using this one here, the uh, Alexa remote API skill template. And again, they are all free to use, but you do have to log in and create, uh, if you don't have an account, create an account. And you can do that by just clicking this need an account down here. Um, if you're going to log in, if I can remember my password. There we go. And so once you log in, you have access to uh, download the source code. And there's also a tutorial video for each one of the skill templates. So that will show you um, basically what I'm showing you right now. So it's kind of meta because this is the tutorial for this template. So uh, you want to download the source code from this little button here. And the source code is set up so that it can be used with the Ask CLI, the Alexa um, Skills Kit command line interface, if you're familiar with that and use that. Or you can use, uh, you can just open the, the code and copy and paste using the Alexa developer console and Alexa hosted skills. And that's what I'm going to show you here because that's kind of the lowest uh, common denominator. But they do work with the, um, with the Ask CLI as well. So once you download the source code, you want to go uh, to your downloads and then uh, unzip it. They're all in zip packages. So we'll just go open. And then inside the uh, the package here, this is this is the skill project. So if you're using um, the Ask CLI, you would uh, navigate to this folder and then you could use all of the Ask commands. But if you're just getting started and want to try the template out, you can, like I mentioned, do all of this just using copy and paste. So we will copy and paste the interaction model and then the backend code here, uh, this index. But before we do that, we'll head over to developer.amazon.com and get started with a, an Alexa hosted skill. So go to developer.amazon.com and log in. If you don't have an account, you can create one. They're free also. And then um, once you've logged in, navigate to the Alexa developer console. And once you're, um, once you're in the Alexa developer console, we'll create a new skill. And I'm gonna call this demo skill. And then we're going to create a custom Alexa hosted skill for Node.js. So the custom is the default, but down here we want to select the Alexa hosted skill for Node.js. Right now, all of the templates are Node.js templates. We have plans to do some Python ones, but for right now, they're all Node.js. So select Node.js and then come back up here and just click the create skill button. And creating a, an Alexa hosted skill takes roughly a minute. So I'm going to let that run and we're going to go back and talk a, a bit more about the, um, the, the template files that you're going to need. So in most cases, uh, there's going to be two that you need. And, and for this one, there's, there's two. Uh, the interaction model, which is this here, and the, uh, the, the index for the Lambda function. So I'll start with this and I'm gonna open it with, I'm using Visual Studio Code, but you can open this with any code editor that you prefer. And I'll select that and we'll copy that. And then um, once our skill is ready, which it is now, we can come back over to the Alexa console and then uh, from here on the left-hand side, you want to find the JSON editor here. And this is the interaction model for this new skill. And we just want to select all of it and then paste in the interaction model that we got out of the, uh, the template. And once we've done that, we can click Save and then uh, build the model. And while that's building, we're going to go back over to the files that we downloaded. And this time we're going to find the index 
JS file here. And same thing, we're gonna open it up. I'm gonna open it with Visual Studio Code. And we're gonna select all of that code. And whoops, select it all and then copy it. And then go back to the developer console. The model is still building well, it just finished up. Added a new intent that we should probably add to the code. We'll get that fixed, but um, this is all ready to go now. You want to head over to the code tab, and then in here we're just going to replace the code for the same file. So this index file, which is the default, and paste in our code, and save it, and then deploy it. And while that's deploying, I want to talk through what's what's going on in here. So um, in this code here, it's making a uh, Let's see, we'll start up here. Um, so with this, so it's making a, a request to answer the question, how many astronauts are in space? And I found this API here that um, provides that information. So I'll show you real quickly. So if you just hit that URL, this is what the API um, sends back. So uh, it sends back a list of astronauts that are currently in space and where, what craft they're in. And uh, so we're using that in our skill. And again, this is really just to illustrate how you would go about creating a skill that gets data from a, a remote API. So I'll close that back and come back over here. And so um, there's a, uh, a function that was created called this get remote data down here that is actually making the call and we can go check that out down here. Um, so here's the uh, get remote data function and this is what's making the, the call to the uh, API. And it is returning that back up here and then it's being used, we're just doing a for loop and looping through each of those records that was returned or each of those items that was returned and then uh, speaking back the names of each one of the uh, the astronauts. So um, let's try that uh, quickly though. Let me um, look at what the invocation name is. I think the invocation name for this one was, what is it? Uh, API starter is the default invocation name. So you can change that. The invocation name is the name that's used to launch the skill. And you can change that. Um, it, through the Alexa console up here, and then you'd save and rebuild the model, or you can change it in the JSON here. But let's go test this out. So we'll go to test, and then uh, enable testing for development, and um, API starter is the name, so we'll just enter that in like that. There are currently six astronauts in space. Their names are Christina Koch, Alexander Skortsov, Luca Parmitano, Andrew Morgan, Oleg Skripka, and Jessica Mayer. And so that's it. Um, this is uh, just, again, a, an example of how you would go about building an Alexa skill, a code example of how you would go about building an Alexa skill that calls a, uh, a remote API. Hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions, you can ask those over here. Uh, we just added this, so ask those over here uh, under the, uh, the comments and we'll respond to those just as quickly as possible. Thanks so much for watching.